This is your friendly review of Surfer News. Please make sure to check out in the description below and the link of where you can buy one. Make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more videos just like this one. Now on to the review. Now for the review. Now on to the review. They come in four pieces. There is a surfer, a board, and a hydrodynamic manta wing underneath that is made up of two separate pieces. There are many different color combinations with different surfer guys and girls to choose from. They are simple to snap together, but the force required may take too much for little kids to do it by themselves, so I suggest having an adult put it together. It should take less than a minute. They stand nicely for display if you want to put them somewhere when you're not using them. They're very easy to use. You simply throw them in the water and let them ride the waves back to the shore. The mana wing is weighted so the surfer will stand upright. The waves need to be large enough that they break, causing white disturbed water for the surfer to ride on. They will not ride on waves that are too small to break. We had no issues with the small waves at Myrtle Beach. The kids also played with them in the pool, but they're a lot more fun in the ocean. They claim you can race them, battle them, and they can do tricks like the 360 kick out, rodeo flip, cut back jack, and zombie. But to be honest, most of the tricks are really the surfers just tumbling in the waves before they start riding them smoothly. But occasionally they do something really cool that's fun to watch. If you're trying to find a great beach toy for kids that doesn't require them to get very far in the water, these are a great choice. So other than making sandcastles, this is probably one of the favorite toys that our kids played with at the beach. We had a lot of people stopping by asking us where we got them at. I'll put a link in the description below so you can find them for yourself. Now I would recommend this for anyone with kids that's going to the beach where the kids don't want to get in too deep in the water. You could probably get into about ankle deep or knee deep and still play with these and interact with the waves just fine. They are interesting in the pool but probably not the best toy if you're going to use it just for the pool. You really need some sort of waves to really have fun with it. So this has been Paul and the Kids for your friendly review of Surfer Dudes. These things will definitely be coming with us on our next trip to the beach. Thank you for watching. They were really fun. I'm, I'm throwing them in the water and watching them look back because they turn and they also turn around. Like they can do tricks in the water going like I love surfer dudes. I like throwing the surfer dudes in the water. And they're really cool when you take them out, too. And once you make them, it looks really cool. And the bottom, I almost put it backwards. It's...